Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Khalifa from Debbie Monero. So if you're following every day or in order, uh, yesterday's daily tangle or uh, Quickie was, uh, I always have to look at the name, <laughs> Califlora. Um, also by Debbie Monero, and we did Califlora and Califlora Light, and this one goes along with it. Uh, it's from the same inspiration, but I did want to do it on a separate uh, quickie video because it, it is still a separate tangle. All right, this one starts off with a couple of, mm, it's going to essentially be like a stem. It can be, I'm going to do it slightly curved. You can obviously do this however you wish do take a look at the for more inspiration link so you can see uh, Deb's sample uh, she in her step out also she provides uh, samples for you know how to decorate and play with it uh, so that gives you some ideas but in general so we start this way then I like to think of it as using a takeoff and land and if you wanted to do this whole stroke in in one you certainly could I do like that Deb divides it uh, into two different steps because people like me need to see it that way. <laughs> All right, so from here, and I'm going to use the takeoff and land, so that means I'm going to trace over a little bit of this, and then we're going to go into like an S shape, like so. Probably could have put it a little bit this way, but you know what? It is how it is. And then the bottom one, same idea. You can leave, have a little bit more of a, you know, of a dip. Just add your character however you want to add it. Or however the pen ends up making it. Either way. All right. And like I said, you could do this one, one big swoop, two big swoops, if that works for you. All right. Then we're going to do, uh, and this stroke is similar to the Califlora, these big C shape curve lines, but you know, real, real tall, or like a U almost, or this would be an upside down U. And we're going to come on this side. I am making them particularly large. I don't know why. Pen wants to do it that way, so okay. And we're going to just do it all the way around like that. And then I actually, I, uh, Deb, I hope you don't mind. I changed up the order a little bit just because this was the way that I kept doing it. And so I'm just going to stick on this side. And, and we're going to aura the inside. Some of these, it doesn't really matter um, what order you do some of, the, some of the things in. You, I just always want to make sure that um, as long as it's not hinging on something else to do, you know, it doesn't matter. Okay. Then we'll work on the underside here. And this one is, is still C-shaped curve lines, but these ones are connected and closer to the to the line, similar to like say crescent moon. But well, I should take that back. Crescent moon, we do separate them, but that size of a uh, of a C-shape. Okay, then a nice loose, my new term, <laughs> a loose aura around the outside and just because there we go and then on the underside as well And then we get to decorate and play. All right, I, you know what? I, I'm going to try a, a different decorate and play on this one because on my sample and the other ones I've done, I didn't. Let's see, what did I do? Hold on. Yeah, I was doing, you know, just little straight lines in here, but I think this time I'm going to put orbs. And Deb has has orbs in one of hers, and I kind of like that. And I thought, well, let's let's try it.
make that big so I'm not squishing one in there. And then filling in the, you know, any of the gaps. Adding the orbs like this, along with filling in the gaps, it adds a little bit more contrast where uh, just, and I'll, oh yeah, I, I can show you the, uh, just with the, uh, just with the lines. And here. You know, it just depends on what you want to do. Also, I, um... I'm going to add an extra little aura in inside of here because I like it. Oh, maybe this this side I'll do the little lines because I I do I do like just like this. It just adds something. It's uh well it's kind of like uh, adding shading with the pen. Not quite as dark because you could just fill the whole thing. Fill, you, you could add an internal aura and then just fill that in if you wanted to. Um, let's see. And then, so I think I'm going to do <laughs> what I've done on some other things. I've seen this where people, you know, put a little, a little line or something, you know, just some marks going up a stem like this. But I'm doing it because I really, really want... To add my line dot dots. <laughs> All right, and you know I'm seeing how sloppy this is right here, so I'm gonna just trace over. Yes, neaten that up a bit. And even if I go out a little further, that's okay. Sometimes you just have to. But that kind of cleans up. What, I don't when when I'm filling in the little gaps. A lot of times, that's where it gets messy because the pen will go out just a little bit. Yeah, but there we go. Okay, and so let's do some shading. First, oh, you know what? Let's do let's do on these. I was thinking here. But then I, this time the pencil wanted its, its say in things. So it wanted to do those upper ones. So, okay, we'll let it. Oh, I like it. You know, mm hmm, thinking, could... Could put some graphite in there, but you know what? I have a different thought. Here's my different thought. Ah, do I dare? Yes, I dare. I because I've been thinking about this, going with the whole straight line idea. I've been thinking, oh, that might look neat to. Just, oh yes, put some little lines in. Uh huh, uh huh. What's fun is there's just so many things that you can do, and if you get inspired to just try something, just try it, just do it. As my mom says, it's only a piece of paper. Now, while I understand and usually disagree. <laughs> At the same time, the point is just try it. It is just a piece of paper, and you can try again. Not trying is a bad thing. Because then you won't know for sure if you like it or not. And then, I, and then, and then that lead, then sometimes this, it, it, sometimes it goes down a rabbit hole because that leads to something else I'm going to change. 
And I hope you don't mind. Thanks for sticking with me. My, I hope you don't mind my uh, my exploring as we're as we're talking. I mean, it's just supposed to be a a quickie that kind of morphed into a quickie plus, uh, throwing in you know a little bit more about decorating. It's still it's still. I try to keep them as simple as possible. Here's the thing I'm going to change. Too many lines, and I like those ones better than these ones. And the beauty of everything is, uh, if you don't like it, you can just fill it in. <laughs> and again, you don't know unless you do. Okay. Oh, I have to say I like that a lot. Okay. Then... are kind of tucked in sort of or they're coming out of you know what, I'm gonna put well it's sort of it's kind of going on the line anyway let's do that I might bring some of it inside here but for sure let's put it on the outside yes and then down here as well I'm gonna try to avoid the <laughs> the dark bumps that I just colored in as to use the other torch out as to not grab you know the ink and the paper because sometimes these uh, uh, Zentangle official tiles they can tend to, to do that if the if it's still wet and I like that I like that a lot now this because you know, and what's neat is if you really want this to just pop, you could just have it pop like that and have it stand out. I think it needs a little bit, just a smidge of rounding in there. Yeah. But that's just me. little bit more in here yes because see this is still darker ish <laughs> so it doesn't just look like it's all gray that's where my points going fun all right so let me reassure you because just in case you didn't see the video from yesterday with califora um here is califa I wanted to do this kind of as a border and uh, you know one of those couldn't quite figure out how I wanted to do it and um, I don't know just the way I do things I, I didn't want to veer from what the pattern was because I probably could have done something different with these uh, with this part and if again if you look at uh, the step out from Debbie you will see yes you can you know you can do it however you want um, but anyway so this so this was fun I had it coming out of the califora and then on this one I just did a single and had it coming out you know out of one side uh, this is um, <laughs> this was a, a prep tile uh, it was, it's a squashed uh, iris uh, petal and uh, and it had a little bit of kind of greenish um, you know from the the base of the petal and uh, I ended up using colored pencil anyway just to accentuate it but that's that's where I wanted to put it and it turned out rather neat if I do say so myself so yeah and here I put this the little the little lines in there so again oh and here here as well again super super neat tangle you know it will work as you know a nice leafy feature for any tangle and it's just so fun and whimsical oh, love it all right if you enjoyed this please click the like button I appreciate that when you do that and uh, also if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet would love to have you be a subscriber so while you're clicking click there too uh, I mentioned the description section link for links to step out I always do my own version as well as uh, linking to the creator of the tangle and um, that uh, this one will actually this will take you to my website because because uh, I, I don't know I guess you call it, I'm publishing it and um, and so if you want to sign up for my blog while you're there, 
uh, feel free to because that's the, I, I post that I post uh, daily tangles uh, I'm working on making sure that I post things for classes uh, there because I, I, I post three other places and so, so then I sometimes will forget um, until I put it on my own blog it is on my website but that's just more static if there's a page which you can find um, so I have a link there as well and to our Facebook community so if you want to hang out with some amazing Tangle addicts like Debbie, uh, you can you could do so by clicking that link and just know that there are th like three questions to answer to gain entry, and then you can join in the conversation and the fun. Um, I have a link to my Facebook page there as well, and I think that's about it. So you know, I'll, I'll, I'll finish with this. If you'd like to join, you know, the classes that I do, it, it's they're really fun, and if we focus on a tangle or occasionally two, and just you get to have as much fun with it as you want. So I hope that you might join us sometime there, uh, but if not, we'll see you next video. And with that, I wish you happy tangling.